Welcome to everyone. It's day 14 of our Gari tour, and we are heading to the central area to cover Central Station and the West Coast after spending a day at Eli Creek, just lazing about. Use fourth gear. Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> All fun and games until you want to leave, isn't it, eh? <laughs> oh, that's so good. You would have been right if our mates didn't take off. <laughs> You're going well. Keep going. Just going to get a big girl onto it now, Susie. <laughs> the tide will come up and it'll wash it out and you'll be fine. I reckon that's a good way to do it. <laughs> Identification purposes. That is not a turtle. <laughs> that is a tree stump. We just walked a far way. A far way. A far way. Is that a far? What about that one down there?
do for a photo. My panties got wet. <laughs> oh. You're an idiot. There are only clean ones. What am I going to do? I'll have to do some washing. <laughs> So this was our beautiful spot, except there was one issue, March flies. How big were the March flies, Carl? Too big for humans, <laughs> way too big. They're super enthusiastic about their dinner, <laughs> like me, except we're their dinner. Yeah. And I don't like it. <laughs> so we're running away. There's one on the tyre. Oh, there is two. Yeah. Oh. We just paid the most amount of money for petrol per litre ever. <laughs> $2.60. Oh my god. They call it Happy Valley so that you can't be angry. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> but saying that, it's also the same price at Orchid Beach and elsewhere on Fraser. So it's just the Fraser tax or the Yari tax <laughs> on your fuel. <laughs> Which is the way it goes. What can you do? We thought we might get by with uh, out filling up, but no, nah, gotta fill up. <laughs> anyway, there goes 260 bucks. <laughs> Got some shrubbery. <laughs> We're just going for a walk down to Lake Garawongira. That's the camp area over there. It's only for hikers though. Wow, looks magic. What an amazing feeling.
We've just arrived at this lake and it's amazing. You can see why the Butchilla people would have loved it here. It's just got such a feeling that it's just calm. I just want to sit and chill. on the track. Everybody's gone around but we're a little bit big for that. We could give it a go but um, Cal's just gonna drag it out of the way. Fall, fall from tree. She said I almost died a week ago. I lost my wheel. I thought I let you know. Camp 
coming back. <laughs> Good job. We're on the track, Chip Alerts. Hut. Well, ruins of a hut anyway. So this used to be this used to be the hut of the guy that maintained the telegraph line between here and the Sandy Cape Lighthouse. So we'll have a little bit of a look. Apparently there's not much, but we'll have a look around and see what it's like. Oh, he only died in October. Hmm. Heath the Lurt. Yep. Died this year. Hmm. Wow. Not many ruins. Not much anymore. No, we'll go have That's a look at it. Cut. His nice waterhole it looks like he has down here. Wow, look at the tree. Oh, look, you can see the beach. Hmm. It's the water. Oh, I thought I saw water. I must have imagined it. Oh, that's a mud hole. <laughs> I've ever seen one. Holy cow, yeah. Um, I think we better go. Run. <laughs> There's mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> After a little bit of investigation, we found that Keith Bellert used to use an old T model Ford to run up and down the track to maintain the telegraph lines. We are traveling to a secret spot. <laughs> we have been here before, about 18 years ago. And hopefully, it's still there. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but we'll see when we get there. We'll know straight away. So, if you see more, you know it's still there. See you in a bit. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I reckon that's worse. We are at an abandoned aircraft hangar and runway that used to be used in World War One or Two. I'm not sure which one, but we were here 18 years ago and found this and thought it was pretty cool. We took a picture of the our uh, car in there, so we're repeating it with the truck. Yay! It's a bit lame, but anyway. It is a bit lame, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we'll show you. We we'll see where we can find the old one. Oh, I'll definitely find the old one and pop it in. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And this, believe it or not, is where the old runway used to be. You can sort of still see it in the middle there. There's trees growing on it. Nature's reclaimed. Another 20 years and the trees will be growing up and it'll be done. I think when we were here last, this was all just all low shrubland and you could see the, the actual runway much better. Ooh, I think we might get some rain today. Check that out. Still very good, Nick. Although it does have a tiny bit of a lean to it. And looking at it, there's not much cross bracing and the pole's rotten off at the bottom. But like, look at the wood. The wood's amazing. It's not that old actually because the trusses are pressed. They're not from World War II. It hasn't even got any markings on the tin, has it? No orb or anything. That's very strange. If anyone knows how old this is, let us know. Maybe not as old as I thought. I was going to say that looks like Zincaloom. Not. 
galvanized. Nah, it's galvanized. Anyway, something different, that's for sure. We've just arrived to do the Valley of the Giants track and there's no entry. It's closed. Looks like they're doing um, some pool fence renovations. <laughs> pool fence renovations? How do they get a pool fence in a national park? I don't know. We have arrived at Central Station. Thankfully, the uh, 12 cars that went past us didn't pull in here. They must have all gone to Mackenzie's, Lake Mackenzie. It's pretty. So this morning, we have left from, where are we, here? About here. Gone into Yurong, had some brekkie, Travelled up here through to Central Station. We're going to have a wander around here. Then we're going to go up Lake Mackenzie and then possibly we'll go out to Mackenzie's Jetty and up to Kingfisher Bay to check that out as well. And sometime later today we'll end up back somewhere near Lake Mackenzie for camping. Oh. And that's their drive over ramp so they can work underneath it. Oh wow. Do you know what I mean? Huh. Drive the trucks and stuff over it and they just work under it. Oh. It's a bit random. <laughs> it appears random. Now it's random. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to watch out for the cones dropping on your head. <laughs> oh no, I've got my safety helmet on. <laughs> That's probably the best warning sign ever. Compared to all the other <laughs> shitty signs they make. <laughs> At least it possibly will happen. I think that all was falling down last time. I remember it was um I love the sound of the picker bean palm little berries dropping down from the sky and plopping into the water. On Fraser Island, the king fern is only found in Wungalba Creek. Each of three other permanent creeks on Fraser Island has a different relic fern species growing in its warm, wet valley. So the ferns right here are the ones that we showed you in Carnarvon Gorge. Watch out for falling cones! <laughs> Look at the frongs on this king fern. Carl could use that to keep me cool. 
He could just wave it over me while I lay in the hammock. Uh-oh. Tourist bus has arrived. We had the place to ourselves. We were so lucky for a little bit. It's pretty with the reflections in it. The best part of a rainforest is the fact that it proves that beauty is messy. You get bitten, there's sticks, things gonna fall out of the sky and there's kill you. Sticks in a rainforest. <laughs> Ooh, I think there's trees as well. But what I'm saying is it's it's not neat and tidy, which is great. I'm saying ah, pretty so messy hair. Messy it's hair. Okay. Don't care. We are leaving just as they arrive. Woohoo! <laughs> The day started beautiful with not many people at Central Station, but when we hit Lake Mackenzie, we couldn't even get a park, so we moved on. I was keen on getting to Mackenzie's jetty. We tried several tracks that were marked, but all of them were closed. And it was a little bit hot for a 4K walk, so we gave that a miss. So a little defeated, we headed to Kingfisher Bay, to the resort, and hit the Sandalwood Bar. Turns out you can swim in the swimming pool and have cocktails. And a sneaky little bonus is they have showers. So I was able to wash my hair. very civilised until you get to here <laughs> yeah, okay, and then it's like hectic. <laughs> Okay, this is what happens when people don't reverse back to the actual spot that they hit. They tried to get us to squeeze past them. And now, we have a problem. Because we can't go down there. Ha! Ah, had they reversed back just right here. Been yeah, this, this car should, should yes. stay there. Yeah, Just yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. back, yeah. Oh, the riders who have to go. Yeah. yeah I don't know yeah. where we're going to go. So what, what were you thinking? Yeah, I think you should move more. Yeah, as yeah. close as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> we don't want to go over, but yeah, yeah, yeah understand. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's that's just cool. that side looks so close. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Was that if he stays straight? <laughs> like by inches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. An inch? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but I think I got it. <laughs> what were you thinking? We'll go. Come 
more drama on Fraser. <laughs> oh, boss. <bus>. Shit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Back on my favourite road. <laughs> it's about as smooth as the uh, four-wheel drive test track. <laughs> Make sure nothing falls off your vehicle. So this is take two of this road to Mackenzie's because when we went to Mackenzie's earlier it was full. Rangura. Which is Aboriginal for roughest guts road. <laughs> At least the car park's empty. <laughs> wow, what a difference. <laughs> Do you know what makes Carl and I really cross? When you come to a beautiful place where you've had to go out of your way to come here, but then people have no respect. Somebody left a nappy. That's a person who is a parent and can't even be responsible for their own bloody rubbish. Just had to say that. No mi mente na feel it distraction is come away need it yeah it hurts so much you know that I've got no bloody hat I need a feel it but there's no bloody stuff Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. In the upcoming episodes, we continue on our amazing island adventure. What an experience it was.